All right, so the panels are now all fully wired. I got the five strings of positive. I got the five strings of negative. And now I'm gonna finish wiring up the inside of the box. I took the liberty of taping each wire, both positive and negative. Also, here as well, coming from each of the panels. That way, if there's any issues later on, I gotta troubleshoot. I don't have to chase down wires. It should be pretty obvious which is connected where. All right, so I'm gonna finish up the wiring. Uh, I'm just gonna attach the wires inside the box to where they go. It's negative wires to the negative bus bar. And then I'm gonna attach the positive wires to the breakers. And then I'll attach the panels over into there. One thing you may have noticed, I'll have to point it out, it's a little sloppier in here than it should be because I got a little carried away with my knockouts and the jumpers here would have just fallen through. So I added some washers just so that it would stay, stay put. Now for a closer look inside the combiner box. You can see I got all my negative wires attached to the negative bus bar, all the positive ones going into the breakers. Now it's just as simple as connecting the panels up. All right, so I'm just gonna connect these in which the order, in the order I have them marked. <whistles> Wind's picking up. for the positives. Uh, it's as simple as that, we're all hooked up. Next is to attach the wire in here going into the shed and uh, so this stuff will be done. <laughs>